Hey Exiles, how are we doing? We are back playing some Saga of Survival. How are we doing guys? So, what I am going to do today is... Well, what I want to do is kill this golem first. And then I can talk to you. Um, so yeah, so t for today's video, it's just going to be another video wanting to try and recruit more players. So, um, coming back from last week's video, I had some positive uh, responses and some people did finally join up which was amazing so happy to have my new players on board uh, helping us out for uh, future challenges for the clan and everything else but we do need more players so right now we're sitting on roughly about 12 players at the time of this video I need at least ideally another 15 players I know it's a big I know it's a really big ask um, I know it's something that I may not get all the players that I'm wanting but if I can get at least 20 or more plays, I'll be wrapped um, for the next challenge. So we've got a plan in place. And the reason why that I want to get at least 20 as a very bare minimum, just so I can um, have a decent amount of players um, supporting everyone else, not only myself, but everyone else that are currently in the clan. So we can go ahead and get some decent loot. So the plan in play, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be using the circle of power as our um, experience boost up. So we're going to make a whole bunch of these. We're going to build them, break them, build them, break them. We've been farming for all these items specifically just for the next XP challenge. So I've told my guys to hold off so far. Um, some of the guys were a little bit too um, trigger happy, I should say, and have obviously gone ahead and um, gotten some XP for themselves. That's fine. I'm happy for everyone to do that right now. We actually may well, in fact, be able to at least potentially claim the first lot of armor. So I think that's what the guys are looking at doing at the moment. Um, we've got a, another day out, so... Hopefully by then we should have um, possibly maybe first tier level armor, but that's only with 12 players. So to do that or get there to a, um, you know, in an ease of use is by using the circle of power as our way of doing so. So basically my prerequisites for new players, I need you guys to have that ability to craft the circle of power. So bare minimum, level 30, I need you guys to be at. So anyone that's level 30 that are interested in joining up, go ahead and apply. Uh, the clan name will be a Dark Legion, the way that you see it right there. And just go ahead and uh, apply. And obviously I'll be accepting all newcomers that will be coming across. Um, so if you guys can do that for me, that'll be amazing. I just want to deal with this bone breaker. I just want to see what he drops have a look um yeah i'll take the boots why not i'll leave that behind so yeah so this will be our basically what i want from you guys for our newcomers if you guys can do this and if you can do it at least maybe five times over to begin with that'll be a really big help for the rest of everyone else even up to 10 that'll be amazing because basically you'll get anywhere upwards of fifteen thousand exp if you do it at least five times over, I believe. I think it's about 4,500 uh, per time that you uh, craft the circle of power. So if you guys do it at least five, maybe six times over, you'll get your 15,000 EXP uh, right off the bat, which is obviously more than what's required for um, dealing with the, uh, the minimum requirements for all the... Um, uh, sorry for the XP challenge itself so that's basically what I'm looking for and if we do that by at least 10 to 20 people um, well 20 people ideally I think we're gonna have enough um, plays that we can get at least tier 3 armor possibly close to legendary if we if we play our cards right that's what I'm hoping for and that's the aim I want you guys to get legendary armor when it comes to the experience challenge so if you guys want to join in and be part of that, then definitely apply. So I'm just clearing out right now the dungeons um, that I did for an upcoming video, actually. 
So upcoming video will be in regards to um, clearing the level one, uh, well, the standard level dungeon just by using minimum um, armor and equipment. So that's basically the reason why that I'm back here. Naturally, with the type of armor and weapons that I used, you can't really get past these uh, golems whatsoever they are on the difficult side. Even if you were to try to push them across to one end of the map here, I mean, it's still a difficult thing to do. So I didn't go down here and sort of, um, you know, did that for, for the newbies. So that's basically the reason why I'm down here. That is rare. So I'm taking that. Thank you very much. Actually don't have too much of that. Not that I really need it, but it's just something there I will take. Absolutely. And let's just do that. And while I'm here, I may as well get all the clay that I can get. Oop. Let's run a little bit further out. Okay, thank you. And it's always a good hunting ground, these new zones, especially in the Cursed Forest over in the dungeon here. You get a decent amount of clay if you are running low, if you guys cannot be bothered mining for it yourself, um, why not? And especially if you've got an overpowered weapon that I'm using at the moment, um, yeah, why the hell not? Just makes life that so much easier. So we're nearly done. We're going to run down to the other dungeon. I'll clear out the, the golem dent as well, and we'll probably call it a video. I just wanted to take you guys through anyway. And we'll open up these, why not? And I think there should be another chest up here somewhere. And drop some clay, thank you very much. Let's just get out of his way. And there should be another golem somewhere. The range on this is ridiculous. It is so good. And I'll take some of that. Why not? And I'll take some of that. Why not? I might not even have enough uh, space to take everything home. Might have to start thinking, what do I leave behind? Actually, why don't I just do that? and do that there we go i'm taking stone as well because obviously you do need to make um stone blocks which are a requirement but if i find something decent i'm gonna throw away the stone naturally but i'll check what we've got here we'll head out i'll go over to the next zone i'm gonna have to do a bit of a drop off as well back at home um take that and for people asking me before as well uh, dungeons do drop and other areas do drop the horseshoes in different locations so yeah just thought I'll let you know it is possible you don't really necessarily need to get um, horseshoes just from the glowing chest so again something to keep in mind not specifically for the guys that have been playing the game for quite a while now it's more or less for the newer players that are wanting to know that but going back to it so as I said guys, level 30 is all I require. It just gives you options to open up a certain other um, requirements as well. So if you need it, it's there. And um, what else was there? The craftsman's table is a must as well because you're gonna need to craft the empty water barrels. Even though that it only shows that you need two as a requirement, I know you probably find them over time. And the tilled field, I believe it is. Oh no, sorry, the water spring, what am I saying? You need to upgrade your water spring so you can fill up the water barrels. That's the only other requirement that you guys need um, in order to um, comfortably do the circle of power EXP challenge, as I like to call it. So that's basically what I'm after. Like I said, right now we are 12 members of the clan. I need 30, obviously, ideally, but if I can boost it up to at least 20 minimum, anything more than 20, I'll be happy. And as long as you guys are obviously active, we're good to go. 
even having said that with only 12 players participating and I've pretty much told everyone not to push themselves so far everyone is pretty much on the participant end so I'm happy with that I think I've only got one person that hasn't really um, participated which is fine otherwise um, yeah guys I just want you guys to join up if you guys want to build up a new clan which I'm sort of reinventing it again um, which is yeah it's been a long time coming uh, that's that's definitely for sure so it's been at the back of my mind for quite some time so unfortunately I did let it go for a little bit which is you know definitely all on me on that one there so now that I can refocus back into it um, I'm hoping that I'll get some more people will be more active and yeah we can pretty much um, have a decent little clan happening um, I think that's pretty much everything here so I haven't really rebuilt anything yet as um, from the raid that I copped a little while back but I will eventually and considering that you know I've switched off the PvP system I shouldn't have any problems with that now anyway so for now I'm just going to sort of fill everything up I'll just take these out I'll make this another full chest I've got that that pretty much that and half of this as well so yeah I've got a lot of scrolls so I'm going to cash in on the next um exp challenge so I sort of do that over time for just for argument's sake just so I can get a little bit of a bump up a head start if I wasn't prepared for you know a certain challenge at least this way that sort of gives me an avenue to work on or if I've blown through all of my circle of power materials, I pretty much get everything done with that. At least minimum requirement. Anyway, so we're just going to run over here. We'll finish this off and we shall call it the video, I guess. But let me know what you guys think as well. So using the circle of power as an easier way of... Um, boosting the xp not only for yourself but for the uh, for your clan as well and cashing in on those decent items it's good but i believe it's also bad at the same time and it's more of a, a of a development side of things not so much um a player thing players are going to benefit right across the board i've seen so many people now that i've introduced this and i've got this out there i mean i wasn't the pioneer for this let's be clear I got this um, from a, a person that commented on a previous video a, a little while back. So if it wasn't for that person there, some of these videos that I've got here may not be, you know, in existence right now. Um, or maybe a slightly different version of it, I guess. But by doing it this way, I mean, you guys are just securing yourselves decent loot at all times. But I don't know whether or not will the devs allow this to continue. That's the thing. Will they change it? Will they keep it? Will they sort of leave it alone? Um, and the only reason why I bring it up in this way is because now that the clans have opened up to at least 50 members and if everyone's active, you really don't need to push yourselves too much to get decent loot. So, you know, if you, if you put it into one perspective, if you got... 50 players playing and everyone's doing a hundred a hundred thousand at least then realistically you're going to have more than what you guys would need even if everyone just sort of commits to about fifty thousand each you know fifty thousand experience points is nothing these days and i'm sure everyone can pretty much um you know get themselves 50 exp each time the event sort of happens so you know, for everyone else, okay, you might have to work a little bit harder if you don't have, you know, 50 players um, playing for you or playing with you, I should say. So, yeah, the more players, the merrier, but does that entitle the developers to redo the whole system of um, the expert, you know, the EXP challenge? So that's something that you sort of got to think about as well by giving us more um, plays, which is all well and good does that you know change the fact will we be um i wouldn't say punished but will we be nerfed in the way that we can you know get more um 
uh, experience and therefore better loot? Or will they raise the bar? That's the next thing. Will they leave it all as it is or, and do they increase um, the requirements for legendary items? That's something else that I thought about as well. So, oops, and that glitch is still there. So that, that glitch has been around for such a long time. And if you didn't see it initially, go rewind it and play it again, maybe about 10, 20 seconds. And you'll find that my character basically was teleported back upon entering in the, um, into that little corridor. So that's still there, still really annoying. But what can you do? Hopefully the devs can sort that one out. I'm hoping that's not really much of an issue uh, for them to, you know, for them to fix. But otherwise, yeah, guys, um, what do you think? Really interested to know what you guys think about the whole experience challenge. Now that there's a, a really easy way and it's been publicly broadcasted, all the rest of it, anyone can pretty much do it as soon as they get to level 30, pretty much. Um, and even along the way in your travels, you will find a lot of these materials as well. So you don't really specifically need to farm um, just to get, you know, one, two, maybe even up to five um, times over that you can craft the circle of power. So I'm thinking, will they change it? I'm not too sure. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they leave it as it is. Because even a pack of 30 players in a standard clan that doesn't need to use, you know, quite a quite a number of sapphires just to, um, you know, increase the their player base or the clan base, I should say. Hopefully, it'll just get left as it is, but we'll see. But even on that, um, I'm thinking that there's going to be hopefully a new update soon. Hasn't been publicly announced as to when, which is a real sticking point at the moment. Because at the moment we, we're dying to know what we're going to get. I did do a, um, a video last week and that was predominantly with regards to the teasers that were left in the video that the developers um, chucked on their Facebook page um, probably well, now even about a week ago now, now, now that we think about it a little bit more than a week ago. So if you guys want to check that out go ahead and have a look at the video um, that I made. And I just showed, showed off a few little bits and pieces, a couple of screenshots here, here and there. So it looks like we're getting new items, so new armor, clothing, and some new weapons potentially. So they look like they're pretty much ready to go, and it's just a matter of them just, you know, deciding do, do we want to drop them now, do we want to drop them later? And I'm guessing that's basically where it's at at the moment. But what I'm hoping on, and I had actually actually had a quick look back at the developer roadmap I might actually make a, a, a roadmap video just to sort of give you guys a um, you know maybe a refresh because it's been such a long time since we've actually all looked at it together and since the developers have taken you know the time to sort of show everyone else as well so at the moment I think it's the latest version which I don't think it's changed at all to be honest with you so We'll go ahead and I'll make another video about that probably soon and I'll just show you what you know what is to be expected and hopefully a lot of these will stay true and yeah hopefully we'll get some new um, new content shortly but otherwise we're pretty much done I think I spent way too much time on the video today guys so apologies on that one there really I just wanted to um, try and recruit new newer players that's basically the basis of this video plus i wanted to clear out some uh, bits and pieces here so hence the reason why we're down here today but yeah look guys hopefully you enjoyed that one i'm gonna take that with me uh, i don't need that but i'll take that yeah so in a nutshell guys once more please if you guys are a free agent go ahead and uh, apply for dark legion minimum 30 level requirement once more I need you guys to craft the circle of power okay so real big one for me and it's not not just for my guys but for you guys as well if you want to get somewhere you know in a clan like i said i'm going to try and stay active um, as much as possible nowadays so i'm going to keep doing that and hopefully we'll be able to benefit from that as well together and it's not just the xp challenge eventually we're going to try and work out good ways of 
tackling the battle thons and the resource challenge and things like that and hopefully we'll get some decent armor uh, sorry weapons i should say anyway that's pretty much going to go ahead and leave it today so i appreciate you guys watching stopping by all that sort of good stuff um, take it easy and i'll catch you next time